Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see a problem based on numerical integration by applying the rules. A problem is evaluate integration 0 to 6 3x square into dx dividing the interval that is 0 to 6 into 6 equal parts by applying Simpson one third rule, Simpson three eighth rule and Wedley's rule. So, but uh, for examination point of view only any one method is going to be asked here. For this particular example to show you uh, how these three rules are going to apply I have taken all three. So, solution you can observe here. So, the, the interval they have given 0 to 6 which is nothing but same here. So, this is A value and B value. So, solution. So, here I can consider let us divide the interval 0 comma 6 into they have told how many here 6 equal parts into what here 6 equal parts 6 equal part it means which implies here what here which implies n is equal to 6 so to get equal parts it is nothing but h is equal to b minus a divided by what here n where where this is the value of a this is the value of b where a value is 0 b value is 6 and n is 6 here so therefore therefore the h will be h is equal to b value is 6 minus 0 upon 6 that is 6 divided by 6 so h so which implies h is equal to 1 means this value will help us to find the value of what here x so now we will see that how to find the x here now so the values of x are nothing but so it will start with a value so the value of a is 0 so always x naught will be is nothing but a so first value will be what here it will start with 0 in this 0 you add this h so 0 plus 1 is nothing but you will get x1 that is 1 this 1 plus 1 you will get what here 2 this 2 plus 1 will get 3 3 plus 1 will get 4 then 4 plus 1 will get 5 then 5 plus 1 will get 6 so but we have to, I will stop here because starting value is 0 end value is 6 because our uh, uh, limit is what they have given 0 to 6 we have to stop so therefore x0 x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 x6 now so this is just a value I have shown but I will use the calculator for easy uh, simplification you can see here what they have given so the given integral I will take down here now by data they have given i is equal to integration 0 to 6 3x square dx so i can say that so here from this i can say that this is the place of y so integration of y dx you can see in the introduction so 3x square so here y is nothing but 3x square so this is the value of a is 0 b is 6 so 0 means a is 0 means this is x naught value and this is x n last value now you can see here uh, how we need to construct a table so i will prepare a table now so all of you concentrate here so just i will use the uh, calculator to get a table value completely so you just uh, see here in this table i want to show you as so here in this table this is the x value and y value that is nothing but 3x square and just uh, this is our x0 value x1, x2, x3, x4, x5, x6, y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 and y6. 
So x values already uh, I had taken 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I will take down 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And this when x is equal to 0, what is the value of y? When x is 1, what is the value of y? When x is equal to 2, what is we have to enter here? But I will show this uh, calculation as well as this x values uh, just, uh, just directly from this integral and the value of y. And we can apply prepare a table directly now. So we'll see how to prepare now. We we'll concentrate all of you. So in this uh, this one, I will go for the mode option, then select table. Table option is seven. So you will prepare this equation. That is y is equal to three x square here. That is three alpha x square. Okay, press equal to sign. It will ask starting value. Starting value is meant our what limit value they have given. Zero is the starting value. End is six. So zero is the starting value. End is six. Okay, step size. What h value we got it? So h value we got it on calculation. It is one. So that is a step size. We'll uh, type here. That is step is one equal to. Now you can concentrate in the calculator that. You just observe here what value of x we got same we'll get here 0 next is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 okay you can observe here next if you are uh, respective values of y this one whatever we got so when when x is 0 y is 0 because 0 square into 3 is 0 you can observe when x is 1 it is 3 mention it here when x is 12 uh, sorry, when x is 2, it is 12. If you come down. When x is 3, it is 27. Next, when x is 4, it is 48. Next, if you type x is 5, it is 75. When x is 6, it is 108. So now we have completed the table. So in this, using this table, so this is nothing but y0 value, y1 value, y2 value, then y3 value, y4 value, y5 value and y6. So we need to go for, and this table is common for our all the three methods what we have taken in the question now. So I will uh, go one by one method to simplify this problem now. So using the common table, same table, I want to go for uh, Simpson one third rule now. First one, we'll see. So we'll see Simpson one third rule. As we know that, so y varies from y naught to y six. So Simpson one third rule, that is i is equal to integration a to b y dx. It is given by Simpson one third rule. It is given by h upon 3 bracket starting value is y naught end value is y6 okay plus so since one third rule means we need to uh, multiply 4 in the second bracket so 4 into so here all will come out here even uh, odd numbers that is y1 plus y3 plus y5 y6 already we have taken stop it here plus two times even uh, values that is y2 plus y4 plus y6 already so if you count it once again y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 all values of y it is coming under this so therefore which is nothing but i is equal to i is equal to so a value is out here 0 to 6 y into dx y value is 3x square into dx is equal to h value from the calculation it is 1 divided by 3 y naught value from the table it is 0 plus y6 value from the table it is 108 plus y naught plus y6 over plus 4 times y1 plus y3 plus y5 y5 y1 value from the table it is 3 plus y3 value is 27 plus y5 value 75 
plus 2 into y2 value from the table it is 12 then y4 value from the table it is how much here 48 because no y values are repeating here y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 and y6 so therefore no values of this uh, y will be out here repeated so once we get so we'll enter these all data in the calculator now that is completely we'll enter here this 1 by 3 fraction 1 divided by 3 at once we'll enter use the bracket again bracket i'm using two brackets so 0 plus 108 is 108 i'm writing directly 108 one zero eight plus four times bracket four times bracket three plus twenty seven plus seventy five close the bracket plus two times plus two times bracket twelve plus forty eight close the bracket and one more close the bracket and see what answer you will find you can find here y uh, means result what here 216 so therefore i can say that integration 0 to 6 3 x square dx will be how much here it is 216 so this is the solution of the given data using simpson one third rule if you go for direct integration of 3 x square uh, then uh, apply uh, up lower and upper limit you will get the same answer only okay so this is by simpson one third rule now we will go for second uh, uh, rule that is uh, that is simpson three eighth rule will apply for the same question simpson's three eighth rule so Simpson 3 8th rule will write the formula first. So i is equal to integration a to b y into dx. 3 8th 3 rule means 3 h upon 8 will come here into. So we need to again multiply. So y varies from y0 to y6. So here y0 plus y6 will come plus. So for Simpson 3 8th rule. So here what happens? In this bracket here 3 will come so 3 times so here uh, we need to see that I will uh, just write this bracket as it is plus so this third bracket will be 2 times multiple of 3 that is y3 plus y6 comes y6 already I had taken so only y3 will come here so leaving this y0 y6 y3 the remaining will come here that is y1 y2 y3 is already taken then y4 and y5 plus y5 okay so two times y3 so just see y0 y1 y2 y3 y4 y5 y6 so 3 8 is multiple of 3 so because we have n is equal to 6 so we can apply all the three methods here so only two times y3 will come don't write plus y6 because already y6 is coming here don't repeat the uh, y terms here now which is nothing but integration of a2 that is 0 to 6 y value is 3 x square into dx is equal to 3 into h value is 1 upon 8 bracket so y not value from the table so y not value from the table it is 0 y6 value from the table it is 1 not 8 plus 3 times y1 value from the table it is 3 plus y2 value is 12 y4 value is 48 plus y5 value is 75 plus 2 times y3 so y3 value it is 27 so you type all these values in the calculator and we'll see the solution here as so 3 into 1 is 3, 3 upon 8, 3 divided by 8, brackets, so 0 plus 108 is 108, close the bracket, plus, next, 3 into bracket, 3 plus 12 plus 48 plus 75, close the bracket, plus 
2 times 27 2 into 27 close the brackets and see again we got the answer 216 so therefore we have to conclude here as integration 0 to 6 3x square into dx it will be 216 and this is by Simpson 3 8th rule we got next third matter will apply and we'll see so that is C Wedley's rule okay so we'll see uh, Wedley's rule also here So Wedley's rule, it is for uh, given as y0, y1, y2, y3, y4, y5 and y6. So therefore the formula that is given by i is equal to integration a to b y dx that is 3h upon 10 into it is y0 plus 5 times y1 plus y2 plus 6 times y3 plus y4 plus 5 times y5 plus y6 so this is the formula so in this uh, value we need to ap uh, apply the given respective table values that is here which implies 0 to 6 3 x square into dx is equal to 3 into 1 divided by 10 so y not value from the table so y0 is 0 plus 5 times y1 is 3 plus y2 is 12 plus y3 is 27 6 times 27 plus y4 it is 48 plus 5 times y5 5 into 75 plus y6 is 108 fine so once we get these all so we have to type this all again data and we'll see what is the solution so 3 into 1 is 3 3 upon 10 3 divided by 10 okay bracket 0 leave it 5 into 3 that is 15 plus 12 plus 6 into 27 write it 6 into 27 plus then 48 plus 5 into 75 plus 108 so close the brackets and see the answer again you can find 216 so that will conclude here in the Wedley's also that is integration 0 to 6 3x square dx 216 so you can observe here one thing so why we it is possible to apply all the three methods for this one example because here n is equal to 6 if n is equal to 6 we can apply one third rule 3 eighth rule and Wedley's also but if it is purely uh, n is uh, if they are mentioning the particular method we have to go for particular method but uh, for the sake of understanding I had taken all the three methods or all the three rules for this particular problem when n is equal to 6 so in this way we need to simplify a problem based on numerical integration by using the respective rules here